Hey there, guys. Today we're going to actually be talking about a little um, a little thing about Overwatch and give some stories and my own opinions on what this is and uh, why I actually think that Blizzard's really cool. So yeah, roll the intro. <laughs> Okay, so let's get into how this actually all kind of thing. And let me get into the reasons why I believe that Blizzard is one of those really interesting companies. One of the things that's really cool about today's sort of world is that we're all pretty much connected on some sort of level. Whether we talk face-to-face -face or whether we talk over phone, it's still, it's not really that big of a difference between two people talking. That being said, however, I think that Blizzard's actually really cool. Like, they're like one of the coolest things ever. Like one of the coolest companies ever. They're doing a good job. And I think that's the I think that's one of the reasons why I personally believe that their game is so successful. Other than the fact that it's very tightly knit that it's very tightly designed well, it's very tightly designed, well balanced to a point, and the meta is constantly changing, making more often than not changes for the better or changes for the worst. Some people, some of the, some characters never receive changes at all because they're just that good and can be viable in most situations. But again, people fall in a meta. There are things that fall in and out of the certain meta changes, and it's actually really interesting. So. What made me think that Blizzard was one of those companies that was really, really good? Well, for those of you who don't know, or for those of you who don't really watch around or pay attention, uh, a few, like, a few, one to two days ago, at the time of recording this, however, at the time of recording this, there was a thread that was made that was called, Does Blizzard Even Play Their Game? Does Blizzard Even Play Their Game? Uh, made by some person. This person who made the threat, uh, then there was also a comment said that said there was also a comment on it that said "enough said," which again, kind of uncalled for. The je like most threads that are being made, Jeff Kaplan, the lead, the, cr the lead creator, Jeff Kaplan, I believe is the lead creator of a watch. Damn it. I'm very bad at this. I'm very bad at naming titles and stuff. But Jeff Kaplan, um basically went out and and told this guy off and and everyone was like really roasted and and he really kind of like roasted the guy i'm doing uh, quotes by the way and uh, at the time people thought of it like that but i don't think but again his comments was kind of in the ballpark of it but you could take it either way again you couldn't hear the inflection in his voice but the way that he worded it not the most could be sought after as not the most professional way of handling it, but he handled it well. Uh, and one of the interesting things is is that, and this is why Blizzard is just such a good company in my eyes, and that's the next day, more or less, uh, the guy who created the post actually wanted to apologize to Blizzard and say that it was, that it was because he was tilted at a Widowmaker for ki constantly killing him and blah, 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 blah. And it, it was just him being tilted and very angry at the guy. And again, we've all kind of been there being like, what the heck is going on, Blizzard? Why do you do this? And we've all said it. But this guy actually came out very publicly on a th online to say to say what, what some people think when they really, really rage. And again, we've all kind of been there, which again is kind of respectable it's just that more often than not when people read this they're not necessarily in the same guy's mindset so we so the but it's nice to know the context of the guy and it was nice to see him apologize and to and again this is what makes blizzard really cool they responded to the guy saying like also apologizing which sounds confusing but again going off of his comment he wasn't exactly um mad as well he was more or less upset with the guy because he gave him a complaint and since they listen to a lot of complaints uh, he gave him a complaint but not really giving him the context of what the complaint was it was it could have been a valid complaint 
in theory, if he had given his reasoning, but given that he was in his full-on rage mode, he did not give a necessary reason, and that's what kind of made Jeff Kaplan a little bit upset. And again, this is completely understandable. They want the feedback. They love to listen to feedback, and that's what makes them a really good company. And I think that more often than not, they handle themselves to a T. A T. Like, if the, a classroom, if in the classroom there was a bunch of kids of all, like, the developers, Ubisoft would be that one of the kids that would be selling stuff to everyone. He'd be the salesman of the entire class. EA may be, might be the ripoff guy. Uh, but Blizzard would be would always be, always at least in my eyes when I when I listen to stories like these, Blizzard would always be that one like that one guy, that one guy who's really quiet who's kind of out there but also kind of in his own world, and he can he can do things that are very ma he could it's just he's the really cool kid who's not really popular, but who, who's very popular, but is very grounded at the same time. At least, and I know that sounds confusing, but basically what I'm saying is, is that Blizzard is kind of that bridge between the normal people and the company people. They're kind of like that bridge, and they love being that bridge, and that's what makes them really cool. They respond almost instantly to a lot of the stuff we say, and while a lot of companies do do this nowadays, and they do listen to people, I think Blizzard, while Blizzard hand, while most companies do do this, I, I'm not lying, there are a lot of companies that come to mind that do actually, that there are some companies that come to mind that do actually do this. Such as like Call of Duty and Activision, uh, Sludgehammer game, like the developers of the Call of Duty series, Sludgehammer Games, uh, stuff like that. All those people, and also like certain other companies, they do do this. They, like I'm not lying, but I think Blizzard does it in the most interesting way possible, because since Blizzard is its own company, it has a lot of the, its own stuff. It has its own like steam thing where you can only get things from made from blizzard and it's super secure and more or less and again they're just this huge company and you'd think in in like more often than not that they wouldn't be as vocal as they are in fact they're even more vocal than than some of the previous companies that i mentioned in in some cases like, in certain cases, the companies that I mentioned, the, the creators of Call of Duty, all those people, they are less communicative to their communities. Communicative. Communicative? Yeah. Commu they're less communicative, or, some, or whatever the word is. They don't communicate as often as Blizzard does in, so, in like, a day-to-day -day basis, in some cases. Again... This is coming from someone who's listened to these kinds of stories of Blizzard handling problems that a lot of people have been talking about. And that's what makes them really cool. And that's why I think Overwatch is a very great game, and more so than Paladins. Now, again, as I mentioned previously in my Overwatch v Paladins video, I used to hate paladins i really did it i thought that it was just a very poor overwatch i was wrong for the most part it's a first person shooter with a lot of moba type elements that i don't like and yeah it's just i don't like it i really kind of don't because the reason for it being is that the MOBA type elements and the grinding and all of that kind of stuff, to me, seems boring. This is coming from a guy who plays Overwatch, so, again, while it, if it seems boring to there, if you make the grind feel boring, the grind, uh, the people will not play as often, at least people like me. 
Now, don't get me wrong, I don't care for the instant gratification, I don't care for all that. I'm talking about talking about the amount of stuff and the amount of time that you need to invest in some of these things. And a lot of what I said, to in my mind, kind of still holds true. The going about AIs and versing them for the few, first few games, to me, just seems like a weird idea and like an insult to me personally. And again, this is coming from someone who's played first-person shooters for a very long time. But with that being said, a lot of what... Uh, with that being said, I've heard that the company that created Overwatch, uh, created Paladins also does this. I don't know. You don't hear it as often. And that's, I think, the ve very major difference between these, ki between these kinds of companies. In that, I feel that with Overwatch's popularity, it's being pushed to the forefront of a lot of Overwatch players' minds, always saying, like, if they give this opinion, again, giving their opinion doesn't necessarily mean that they're going to get a backlash of a bad response. Because I feel that at Overwatch, or the, the creators of Overwatch, are super passionate about this game like extremely passionate and it trickles down it, it honestly does it so honestly does like to the point of where some people when they talk about this game can't really fault the game for a lot of the stuff because they're just so happy for a lot of the things now this is bearing in mind that you do like these types of games. Again, this is bearing in mind of a few different things of where you like the game, or you like the company, or whatever, and all premeditative sort of stuff. And again, to me, when I hear these kinds of things of people talking about a game, uh, saying that this is happening and this is happening, and when the developers actually start to listen, which, again, is awesome, and they make changes to the game to make it better, which, again, is awesome, to me, it feels like a huge, like, floodgate has been opened. And to be, and again, Blizzard is, again, extremely vocal about a lot of this stuff on their YouTube channel. They always post developer updates of upcoming events and everything, and that's what makes them great. It's the sheer fact that they are willing to listen and take the criticisms to their game and saying that, yes, sometimes we mess up and we, we know we break things. We can try and fix them, but we can only do it with your help. And again, it just works. And that's what makes this, and that's what's going to make this game very successful in the future. Again, this is just my opinion. As I said, a lot of companies tend to do this nowadays with social media and all that stuff, and people talking about their game, and it just kind of trickling down to a lot of the stuff. But I think that again, Blizzard does it in a very interesting way, which that they have like a, their own website and a direct line kind of to them. There's no middleman. There's no. There's no. Making it way, making its way down the grapevine, and like getting twisted and stuff. It's directly from the person's mouth and into their ears, and they listen to it. And I think that that's a very good thing. And uh, if Blizzard somehow happens to find this, uh, I just want to say that you guys are a very good company, uh, and the, to the creators of Overwatch, you just seem astonishingly great to a lot of the stuff that you make and i can i can safely say i can safely say that overwatch will more has more or less been a success but it's been a success that we can all enjoy and i've heard the 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 failed projects and stuff and i can understand that a lot of the and i've and taken and I've taken a game design and animation class. Yes, I know it's not as big as it, but I kind of understand when people don't, 
when projects fail and you have to kind of redo everything and it just it just gets annoying uh but i can really tell that you're passionate about this game and and i i adore you for that for pushing on and, and stuff like that anyway guys thank you so much for watching and peace off